it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So I changed my mind. We're going to be putting together Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> All right, so if you caught the first portion, it was adding the lights. So this is what we did. Here's our little light piece, right, with the activator right there. So um, let me explain the lights just really quickly. Um, there are two sets of lights down here. And I'm just going to undo this one. So basically, on each light, you have a positive and a negative. And let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it even better. All right, that's as close as I can get it. So this is the positive line. So I'm running the positive line, the conductive tape running through and there's a positive on the actual battery so it's going over okay so that means this side is the negative side this side is coming close to the battery but doesn't touch the battery the reason why i did that is so that the the light's not on all the time because then you would you would uh, run the juice out of your battery so i kept it open so then for my negative line, it's coming, it's connecting to the battery, it's coming underneath, that's how it's touching, and then it comes out here. There's a break between this line and this line. That's also another negative line running to this light. So this line will connect this, <laughs> this uh, negative line from the battery to this one and this one. So it will turn on both sets of lights. So you'll see here, when I push down on it, both lights turn on. And let me see if you can kind of see it better. The lights are on. Um, I think I'm gonna switch out this blue for a lighter blue so we can actually see the light better. So I won't put this on. Um, all right, so let's put it together. So we did it earlier. Let me zoom back out. Um, I thought we were going to be stuck in that position. <laughs> okay, um, so we flipped this over. Let's see, what else do we have left? We have this piece over here. And let me move this out of the way. All right, we've got that piece there that we need to tape down. We've got the head that we need to tape down as well. Let me... And I'm just going to put up the image so that, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> um, do we have, okay, give me one second. I'm going to bring up the image so that I have it. And we are going to put this together and it's going to be amazing. <laughs> okay, so um, this piece goes over here. So I'm just going to flip this over again so that we can take these two pieces together. When you're taping the back side, you want to lift up one side and push it against the other piece so that it's right up against each other on the seams, okay? And that way, we're just trying to make everything look as seamless as possible, knowing full well that there's no way this thing can be seamless because we're using 12 by 12 paper and the project is 30 inches, so it's gonna be huge. <laughs> right, and we're just taping it together. Um, I say this all the time and I truly mean it. Like there are so many little things that we can do for off the mat um, and all those, when you incorporate everything that you can, to make this look good, um, it all adds up. So it all comes to be a seamless project and it's just gonna look amazing. Like on this one, <clears throat> I believe it's been a while since I cut it or since we did the design space. I think there was one piece that we had to slice off but pretty much everything else was seamless. So it's gonna look really, really good. I'm gonna flip this over. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the side. Let's tape, let's glue this guy down. So I'm gonna take out my Barely Art. I'm gonna glue it into place. Oh 
Hold on. So that's what happens when, <clears throat> excuse me, when you don't, <laughs> when you don't close up the bottle so the glue dries. So you just need to take your little um, needle that it comes with. And we're gonna poke it. Oh yeah, I can feel it, okay. Should be good now. Um, all right, so. So I did this cutout so that I could do the tape, like do the whole lights, knowing that it needed to go underneath, underneath all the colors. So that's why I sliced out the pieces so I knew exactly where the pieces were gonna go. Okay, let's put this back out and let's start bringing the colored pieces on, okay? Um, these are all the pieces right here. I know, it's a lot, so. All right, let's start putting it down and seeing what we have. And we may have to do this in a few, in a few tries because um, I did want to do socks and make her um, fuzzy. So um, I will see what we can do with that. All right, let's see. Here is socks. So cute. <laughs> um, I know this is, it's so many pieces. I normally, you know, this is not I usually don't like to deal with projects with so many pieces, but this one's so cute. I wanted to do it. So I want to do the ears. I mean, her whole face, pretty much. I want to do, I want to make it fuzzy. So I want the ears, the inside of the ears. The only thing that's not going to be fuzzy will be her eyes. Her eyes and... Um, yeah, just her eyes because even her face should be... So let's see what we have here. Got some really cute stuff. Yeah, she's got big, big eyes. So stinking cute. a little pink piece for her nose I swear <laughs> I have been missing so many pieces doing this okay so this is how this goes right we've got all this right here so don't worry we've got Okay, so it looks like that blue is going to go there, but we still need more black covering right there because we can see the tape. So, look at that. So good. All right, what happened here? Oh, the lights are on. I might have to do different... Um, that looks good there so 
let's see. I could move it. Okay, so we need more black to cover that. And darn it, I had cut it off. So we actually need the whole thing here. Okay. This piece, we've got the black for it, which we did, but I forgot to put it down. I swear. <laughs> I was supposed to put this down first, but I wonder that still won't cover it. Let's see. See if I could put that there, cut that off, and then put our piece on top. So hold on. Um, improvise. <laughs> We're gonna cut off a piece right here, so. This needs to go way down because this piece needs to be here. It's not touching. Oh, see, it needs to be way down. Yeah, all the lights are on now. So I think what I'll do is because we need to fix quite a few things, let's work on the pieces that are different. So that would be this. And let's see what else do we have here. Let's just, so I couldn't tell if I wanted these eyes or the green one. I think the green glitter one's prettier. All right, so we've got that. Let's see, what else do we need to do? Okay, so I'm gonna move this aside so that we can do socks. Okay, so for socks, Um, I'm going to take out my Xyron machine. Okay. And you may be wondering why. It's because, let me grab one more thing so that we can move it out of the way. Um, if you remember from my past videos, anytime that I use the, the fuzzy stuff, which I love, the tape part was always the difficult part, the double-sided tape. So I realized that I could use my Xyron machine and get the same stickiness on there. Um, so let's do that. So socks is sort of like orange-yellow, right? If you remember from Turning Red, I did a dark orange mix, like a more brownish dark, which is not what I want for socks. I want socks to be lighter. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix yellow and orange and see if I can get that lighter yellowish orange mix. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab a container and we're gonna start mixing away. All right, here we go. So, um, did you know you can mix it? I know, we tried it last time and it was such a good color 
that I'm going to do it again, even though I'm always worried about mixing stuff. Okay, so I have the color up on the screen, and I feel like it's more orange than it is yellow, so I'm going to do a big scoop of orange. And a little bit of yellow. It's getting lighter. I wonder if adding, would it make sense to add a little bit of white? Let me see if I have white. I do have white. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit just to see. Probably added a lot. So you can see the color definitely is lighter. Look at the difference between the two oranges. I feel like it needs to be even lighter. I'm gonna make some white in here. I mixed a lot of white. Let's see what that gets us. Definitely a lighter orange. I'll try a little bit more yellow. <laughs> I think I'm getting the right color for socks. Look at that. However, I need to mix enough because I don't think I can duplicate this color. So it's gonna be a one time. <laughs> this is definitely the right color. So I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow, put a little bit more white. I know I keep looking at this screen. I feel like we're getting the, I mean, look at the difference in color, right? So it's nice to know that we can mix this up like this. I just don't know if I have, um, let me see if I have all the pieces. Socks is these two pieces. Oops, did I even show you? The face. No, I'm still missing some pieces. I think I have all the pieces. This is the neck, the little, the little hind leg, the two legs, the two ears. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to need to mix a little bit more than that. So I'm going to do another scoop of everything.
Okay, I think I've got enough and I think, look at that color. It's such a difference between the two. So cool. And I feel like this is the right color too. So, all right, let's do this. I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit more. Close everything before I spill it. So this is Monarch from Pink and Maine. This is Chickadee. And this flock is Cottontail. So stinking cute. All right, let's move this aside. Okay, so the side that needs to get tape has to be facing down. So in this case, I honestly, I think it's this side. Okay, so let's do this one first. So I'm gonna, or actually let's put down, okay, so. All right. So the way the Zyra machine works is, like I said, you're gonna put it face down and we're gonna enter it in. Why do I feel like I'm not doing this right? Okay, let's look at these pieces. So this is the way it goes in. So face down. I'm gonna put it in. Okay. Okay. So you see how it comes through like this? You want to push down, you want to make sure that all your edges, the whole piece is getting the sticker that's underneath, okay? Um, in fact, I'm actually going to use my little wedgie and make sure. Okay, then when you pull it off, you'll see that the top, the top side does not have the stickiness at all. See the top side, not sticky. The bottom side is completely, has the sticky piece on it, okay? So I'm gonna grab a bigger piece of paper. do this little piece first so just so that you can see and I just want to press down make sure that the flock is sticking to the sticky um, you know the sticker paper And it's always nice to have matching color because any spot that you may miss, um, you won't see like a white, for instance, right? You'll still see a color that kind of matches this. So this color versus this, you see, it just adds the fuzziness. So we'll tap everything off. Once it's tapped off and it's pressed, it stays on. So you just wanna get the excess off. If you wanna press again, just to make sure. It's all fuzzy. I love it. And it's so much easier if you remember how I struggled with um, the double-sided tape from before. So the Zyra machine is perfect for this. All right. So I think let's do 
Let's do a few more pieces. So this needs to be this way, so it's gonna go down this way. Oops. Okay. I don't know which way the face is, so I'm gonna wait on that one. Okay, let's look at this. So this piece is like, it normally goes down like this, so I need to flip it over. I'm gonna put it down. And make sure when you're putting it in that it's not overlapping with the other piece because that means that something's not going to get the adhesive. I just am doing this to make sure that the underside, every piece of it is picking up the adhesive. Okay. So this is Sock's neck. Let's do his, um, is it a boy or a girl? I'm not sure. Okay, this is a good piece to show you because do you see right here? It's like webbing. So you want to get rid of that before you apply. So I'm just going to grab like a little scalpel and kind of pop that web and just pull it to the side. Put it down. You can pour this on top. You know, I don't want to waste my fuzz. <laughs> I'm gonna grab more from here. you got a little fuzzy piece I love it um, okay so that's it for now um, I will do one more tutorial where everything is done and we're gonna put the foam board on it so I hope that was helpful let me know what you want to see I can't wait to piece it all together it's gonna be so stinking cute so all right comments questions below and I will get back to you all right see you guys